If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Artillery series. In this episode, you are going to learn about how you can use artillery with Docker. There is an official Docker image available for artillery. You can use Docker pull artillery io slash artillery command, which is built on Alfine Linux. The work directory is slash home slash node slash artillery and this is the entry point. The best way to run the artillery load test is using the mount volume command. So here we are running docker run and we are mounting the present working directory to the uh, scripts directory which will be created inside the container and then we are going to use the latest image and then we are running the pets.yaml which is located in the scripts directory and then we are outputting the results to the scripts slash load test hyphen run dot json. After you executed, you can see the json file local to your computer and then you can generate the report using the report command. Now let us see a quick demo how we can leverage artillery image to run a quick load test. The very first command you can execute is docker pull command. But alternatively, you can also execute the docker run command which will fetch the image from the docker hub and then it will execute your image. Now let us go inside the artillery image, basically the container. Now let us uh, copy this and let me uh, paste it here and hit enter. So this will spin up a container and then it will go inside the container and then uh, it will just uh, go to the current uh, the working directory. So in this case, the image is built using the working directory slash home slash node slash artillery. Now, if you just type ls, you can see the artillery artifacts. So the bin will have the executable and the library and other artifacts as you see. Now, let me just exit out of here. Let me clear my screen. Now, let us uh, run our simple uh, load test. So right now, our present working directory, which is this one, and we have the example underscore regex.yaml. So we are going to execute this particular YAML file using a Docker. To do that, so let me just copy this command and let us uh, execute here. This command, it will mount the present working directory to the uh, scripts folder inside the container. Suppose the folder is not present, it will create it for you. That's why we're using the hyphen V tag. And then we are using the image artillery IO and we are passing the run command here. So basically we are running the example underscore regex.yaml, which is present inside the scripts folder. And we are outputting into the scripts folder slash load run JSON file. Basically once the execution is done, it will automatically appear in our local directory. So now let me hit run. So this will run a quick load test and then it will generate the output a JSON file. As you see, the test is done. Now, if you type ls and then uh, load run uh, dot JSON, as you see, the file has been generated. Let me clear my screen. Let me uh, cat out the load run dot JSON. As you see, this is our uh, JSON file, which got executed inside the Docker container and then it is pasted in our local repository. So now we can uh, generate using the artillery uh, report and then uh, we can pass the uh, load run dot json and hit enter so this will generate the report for the uh, recent execution so this is how you can leverage the docker image to run your artillery load tests you can also inspect the uh, container so here i have some another command called inspect so this will help you to inspect uh, what version what environment it is using now let me uh, quickly uh, execute this command the entry point command now let us uh, go to the new terminal and let us uh, find the container ID. So this is our container uh, ID here. So we are going to inspect uh, this and then we are going to pipe it to some uh, JQ. Container is A832. Just enter the first four characters and hit enter. As you see, this is our environment. So path, as you see, the uh, artillery uh, slash bin. And then uh, we can see the node version and uh, yarn version. So this is how you can inspect the container. And then uh, if you want to make sure whether you are using the right version or not, you can definitely uh, use this command. 
So that's it guys of my side. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.